Hey you guys, welcome to Gigi's Cooking. As you guys see, I have a little handful of ground beef and I have one egg and celery, onion, and yellow bell pepper, okay you guys? I'm gonna do a mini meatloaf. Let's get right into it. Hey you guys, I'm gonna try to do everything right here in this little area. Put all my veggies in here. Okay. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Put a little bit more in there. We're gonna set our oven right now while we're doing this. I got it going for 350. That's my favorite uh, temperature, I think y'all know. Oops. I was about to throw the egg in here. Y'all know I'm off track right now. Okay, I usually try to do that off camera, but today I had time today. Okay, this is the meatloaf. Yes, love. Okay, here I come. Okay, you got a surprise? Okay. She said, yeah. Um, I didn't put garlic in here, you guys, so I'm going to add some garlic right here. You guys get this stuff. It's at Walmart. It's the ish, okay? I love any mint already made, gar already chopped garlic, but that company, to me, it just tastes fresher. We got some chopped up saltines. Don't ask me how I know you. Just kind of go by the moisture of that vegetable and all of this. You kind of want it kind of sturdy, slightly wet, but not mush, okay? So I'm gonna add all these because a half a pack is enough. It's about a half of everything anyways. We're gonna crack an egg up in there. This is a mini quick gum, um, meatloaf. And I was thinking about my girl Kia. Yeah, so I had a lot of requests. Not a lot, I ain't got it going like that now. But uh, I'm gonna use my fingers, but just want to get some of this. I hate touching the egg, you guys. Like straight on, direct. Am I the only one? Like low key, I want to put on gloves, but it's only when my nails are like long like this. I'm getting them cut tomorrow. Cause that stuff gets in your nails, and it seems like it just never leaves. Don't think I'm done. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit of season oil. I know a lot, right? Some Italian seasoning. With this stuff, you gotta squeeze and, and dump. Why does that? Okay, that's how we gonna do it. Where I come from, you pull that top all the way off because you can't get nothing down. And a little bit of oregano, okay? Guys, you can get the expensive one, that's up to y'all, but this stuff is all the same. It's just an aging difference. That's about it. One's fresher, one's older, but it's gonna do the job. Onion powder. And garlic powder, okay? And a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna use this hand. You're just gonna mix this in. This is how I do my potato salad too. This is the best way to get something done. You got to just get it, in, get it in. Have no fear. Okay. Yeah. You just kind of, I'm sorry, you guys. Just keep on mushing it up to them crackers kind of melt on in there. You want those crackers to melt in there. You don't want crackers to be showing. That's the secret. It's Saturday over here. It's windy. It's kind of hot. Okay, 
You see what I'm doing? I've been making meatloaf. I've been in the kitchen, y'all, since I was like seven. So, cooking really ain't hard for me. Meatloaf, okay? Kids running around, they driving you crazy. Drop, drop that meatloaf on in there. You'll be done with. Slap some potatoes in a pot. Boil them when they done. Peel them, chop them up. And boil them if you want to boil them faster. Mini meatloaf, okay? Look at that. Mini meatloaf, you guys. Hey guys, meatloaf. Nice and mini. We just gonna take a fork. You can take a spatula. It doesn't matter, you guys. It does not matter. Don't be so precise, just relax. As long as you know your salt intake and, and that kind of stuff, focus on that and you can cook anything. Now, see how I flatten that meatloaf? Just a mini meatloaf, okay? It's just being my baby. You guys can do a big one, but this is a mini meatloaf. I'm gonna take some spicy ketchup, okay? And I want a basic meatloaf. I don't. I usually do the barbecue sauce. I made a barbecue sauce one last time. And no, I did not videotape. I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. We're gonna put that in the oven, and I'll be back to let you see how it looks. And I'm gonna slice that thing and cut that thing and eat that. Okay, thing. you guys. I got three white potatoes, and yes, I've been on my white potato thing. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. White potatoes, well, I like those because you can leave the skin on them for a lot of things. Russets too, but these potatoes, red potatoes. I don't know about the sweet potatoes, but the red potatoes and white potatoes, they might be more expensive, but it's, they cut easier, they cook faster, and the skin is less tougher. So with all that being said, on the time issue, I think it's worth it, especially if you're a single parent like me. And I mean that in capital letters, okay? So we got some boiling water. We're just going to add a little bit of salt. I know I'm going to drain the potatoes, but I have a hope in the back of my mind that that salt will seep in. Okay, and we're just going to keep it old school, you guys. We're going to do some stream beans. If I got some, let me double check. Yep, I got some, some green beans, stream beans, same thing. Okay, so we're going to let those boil. Slap the top on, and I'll be back with the finished reason. All right, you guys, let's look at this meatloaf. Look at that. Beautiful. You see what I'm talking about? A mini meatloaf. Isn't that cute? Look at it, you guys. It's a meatloaf. A mini All meatloaf. right, you guys, that's it. You got your uh, steam stream beans. Um, you got your mashed potatoes, and all I did was just mash them up with a fork, added some butter, some more um, salt and pepper, and a little bit of milk, okay? You can do chicken broth if you're on a diet. Um, you can use turkey or tofu. Are you ready to eat? Okay, here I come. We're just going to add a sweet roll right there. I usually would butter it and toast it, but today I'm going to keep it light because I'm trying to be sexy tomorrow, you guys. I'm trying to keep this six-pack, you know, well, this eight-pack. <laughs> I know, I'm lying like a mug. Okay, anyways, you guys, um, there it is for my mini meatloaf recipe. I did it again. I just want to take this time out to actually literally thank God. I just thank God for... Uh, the support and the, the the following, the subscribers, all of that stuff for just growing my channel. You guys are really good supporters. I love you all. You guys keep commenting, keep sharing, keep subscribing. Hit that little bell on the right-hand corner so you can see my recipes when I drop them. I try to do it in family-orientated times. I'm not going to drop no cooking video at 7 or in the morning unless it's breakfast or at 2 in the night a.m. You know, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. I try to do it at family dinner time hours um with all that being said make sure you share my videos on your youtube i mean on your um wherever you want on your facebook wherever share me i see the shares going up i see all the numbers i pay attention to all that and i really truly appreciate it cooking is my passion um i'm not a chef i'm not the best you know but i do know one thing i love to cook goodbye you guys god bless and happy pre mother's day Mwah. bye
Hey, 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 hey.